I disappeared again. I disappeared again, but you know what? That's fine. We're just gonna pick up where we left off. So I will be going ahead and doing my makeup today. I did have, um, I did get a whole bunch of new products. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and also turn on your bell notification so you do get notified every time I post a new video. I know sometimes the bell notification doesn't work and y'all don't get notified, but just make sure it's turned on so the chances of you getting notified are a little bit higher. You know what I mean? So I did get some PR in the mail that I had not picked up for at least a good two months. <laughs> not even gonna lie maybe more so i had like a whole bunch of new products but i did pick out some specific products that i wanted to use in today's video so i'm not going to be sharing with you guys all the pr that i got but if you follow me on instagram you can go ahead and watch it over there yeah but the first thing i'm just gonna show you guys that i was so happy that i got again is this right here so this is the pop beauty makeup magnet mist and if you if you know and if you've been here for a minute last year i think it was last year i got this for the first time in pr and that was the first time I tried it out. And maybe I was obsessed. I've been obsessed ever since. Then, y'all girl went to Miami and I lost it. I lost it with like, cause I think I lost my makeup bag, I think it was, on that trip. So I lost like all my makeup that I had with me on the trip. And I also lost this. And the thing I was the most sad about was probably this because I was obsessed. Just look at this. You guys know I love me some neutrals and these are like, perfect but you do have some pop of color so i really like this i'm probably gonna dip into this today i only used it once and i only used like one shade which is this one i believe i think i used this one and this one anyways that's one of the palettes that i got in pr that i might be using today and then i also got the sigma beauty and um alice in wonderland collaboration and it looks like this and the colors are stunning okay the colors are really giving so I'm going to take the Ofra Cosmetics Concealer Wheel or not Corrector Wheel and I'm just going to put that under my eyes and all the dark spots that I have on my face. So I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead with the Kevin Aucoin SX16. I love this for like a natural contour bronzy look and this has been my go-to. And a little goes a long way. If you guys have been, if you guys watched my last video, I think it was, y'all already know I'm in love with these for like the full face sculpt situation. They just, they just do it for me every time on myself, on clients. They just do it for me. So I'm gonna take my concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend out. Oh, my concealer I'm becoming part of the press on nails game because my nail tag is in New York I don't want nobody else to do my nails and I haven't had the time yo like I really just I've been so busy like I just I haven't had the time to go sit down and get my nails done and I feel like I always complain about this like I love having my nails done but I hate go like I hate the process of getting my nails done not that I hate I just yeah i feel like it's i don't know i just feel like whatever time i spend sitting there i feel like i could have spent doing something else i don't know why i always think like that but that's always been my mindset because i feel like i'm stuck like even if i can work from my phone like i can't because my hands are busy but then i also know that maybe that's just my only way of relaxing and taking a break because if i have my hands available i'm probably always going to be working so one of my nails like kind of came off right before this video and i had to like glue it back on right and then i'm opening my nail glue you know how when your nail glue sometimes get a little bit dry but it's not fully fully dry so i was about to like bite off the top like the top layer that was dry cha i got that shit all in my mouth so now i got fucking glue like on the inside of my tooth and it's so annoying like i try to brush my teeth i try to do all types i don't know how to get rid of it i know it's gonna go away eventually like just within like a few hours or whatever but it's mad annoying like just me talking right now i can't even 
I can't even act like it's not there because I can feel it that it's there I am start saying the brushes that I'm using so this is the Sigma extreme structure contour f04 brush and I love this to blend out my cream contour I'm gonna just explain to y'all why sometimes it's just so hard for me to be consistent on YouTube and just in general with my content because just hear me out on what the heck happened when I decided to finally record this video. I had like three videos that I had to record and I was gonna do that yesterday and tell me why the second I sat down my memory card quit on me. Like my camera didn't want to read it uh, it says couldn't access memory card blah 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 right so I was like okay cool that's fine because I have two backup cards like come on I look for the backup cards none of them work my camera don't want to read none of them and I'm just like ain't no way my camera is fucked up there's no way I have to like just the thought of me having to go get my camera fixed or get my camera replaced just gave me a migraine I was like this is not what I need right now not what I need at all. So I'm taking the Ofra Cosmetics Truly uh, Blush, Liquid Blush. So yeah, I go, yeah, of course I've tried like different uh, SD cards. None of them are being recognized by the camera. Uh, so like, what do you recommend me to do? He said, he was like, the first thing you should do is just get a new SD card. I was like, do you think that's going to solve the issue? You think like the SD card is the issue and not the camera because you know it's not reading none of them so you would think it's the camera that kind of like <clears throat> made me feel a little bit like less worried because i could just go get a new sd card but this happened at night so everything was closed and obviously i couldn't get it that day so i had to wait until like actually this wasn't yesterday this was like two days ago so yesterday i had to wake up early i had to run some errands and stuff like that so i went and i got my damn sell some SD cards and I was like this shit better work because if it's not then I already know I have to like get my camera fixed and that's gonna be a process it's gonna be a long process it's gonna be an expensive process if you guys know anything about camera repairs lens repairs uh, or objects whatever you want to call them baby <laughs> that ain't cheap that is not cheap so I was like shit well my point is with this whole thing i wanted to record this video like these three videos that night so i couldn't so i was like very discouraged i'm like damn when i finally want to record the videos like now my sd card don't fucking work like i was tight <laughs> i was very much upset it worked so my camera wasn't the issue but now it's like i can't access any of the content that i recorded on those sd cards because guess what my laptop is not reading them either there's at least five videos on those cards those memory cards and baby y'all never gonna see those because i can't retrieve them like i can't access them at all and it be like small things like that that makes me just not want to record like i'll be like oh there's always something like there's always something but just know that even though i disappear i'm very much so still here I'm taking the Oma Beauty Say What uh, Weightless Foundation. I am in the shade Brown Sugar T1N. So I got a new brush from Sigma F47 Multitasker brush, and this is perfect for foundation. And I'm just going to put that in the areas where I didn't contour, didn't highlight, none of that. You guys already know the drill. You guys see how my face is like coming together slowly but surely I don't look that crazy no more this is really trusting the process so then I'm taking the Sigma soft blend concealer this is the F64 brush to blend out my under eye concealer because we already let that sit for quite some time I really wonder if you guys be doing all of these steps when you do your makeup like do y'all really for real for real y'all be following these tutorials like not only mine but like just when you guys be watching youtube videos do you guys take the tips and tricks or do y'all just like to see and not try it for yourselves because i know sometimes i be on tiktok or on youtube i just be watching videos and i'll be like oh that's cool but i'll never try it like 
it's not because i don't want to but i just end up never actually trying it <laughs> unless it's like i'm a recorded video trying it type thing i feel like i don't know kind of depends on the hack but yeah y'all i'm obsessed with my base like i'm obsessed with the way that i just do my makeup lately i don't know what is going on i have no idea but i just i really been doing my goddamn thing this bronzer i don't think anything is ever going to top this bronzer from makeup revolution at least not for me for my skin tone so this is the makeup revolution splendor ultra matte bronzer in medium and i'm taking this brush this is the sigma beauty diffused crease brush f38 i love this brush to contour my nose like powder contour it's perfect like i'm gonna go back in with the van vanilla bean just gonna replace the powder like that oh my god this nose contour about to go crazy okay so now we're gonna move on to my eyes before i go ahead and finish my face and i feel like like what am i feeling like so i am gonna go in with this palette right here this is the Dion diana saldana uh and sigma collection i hope i'm pronouncing this right if i'm not i'm sorry First thing I'm going to do is obviously go in with my Sigma. This is the all-purpose buffer. This is the E61 brush. I love this for like all over the eye type of transition color, whatever you want to call it. Even when I want to do like one eyeshadow color, I'm definitely going to use this brush. Like it's perfect. Shout out to Sigma because this brush is really it. So then I'm going to go in with the shade Shy. Chai. Which is this one right here. Uh, I'm just going to use that as... I feel like the camera is not doing justice to these colors. It's really not that white as it looks on my monitor right now. But it is more of like a light peachy color. I don't know. Okay, so this is the E40 brush from Sigma. And I'm going to go in with the shade called Her, which is this one right here. Like, I barely dipped my brush, and again, I thought the camera's not doing this justice, but it is very pigmented. I'm gonna take a tapered brush, and this is the Sigma E49, the shade that's called 212. So, I'm putting this on the outer corner and like on my lower not my lower lash line but closer to my lash line then i'm going to take a flat brush um a flat eyeshadow brush and i'm going to use the shade um inspire which is like a super light 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 beige color I'm gonna take the uh, E30 pencil brush from the uh, Alice in Wonderland collection. The brushes are so cute, like they're so stinking cute. And then I'm gonna take JC, which is the black color in the palette. So now I'm gonna take this brush, and this is the this is the Sigma Tapered Highlight E35 brush, F35 brush. I'm gonna use that to dust off all the excess powder under my eyes I'm gonna go back in with the black eyeshadow I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line with the same brush my brush and this is the Sigma all over powder f24 brush and I'm just gonna dab that in here I'm gonna go in with the Sigma and Cinderella princess collection I want to take the blush that's in here I'm gonna put that on for my blush, I'm using the Setting Powder F12 brush. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and I'm using the Oma Beauty. Is this Oma? Yeah, this is Oma Beauty um, Lip Liner in Simone. So for my lips, I will be using this Disney um, Sigma and Disney Alice in Wonderland collection. So this lip gloss is called Singing Violets. So last but not least, we're going to spray our face with this right here. Okay, so this is the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also turn on your bell notifications so you do get notified when I post a new video. I think I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!